Hello Gemini friends, it's Brittany here to do the second part to your reading. Um, when I first tried to record for you, the phone died or something or just stopped in the middle of what I was saying. And I have been going through so many different things. Um, I just never picked up the camera again to come back and do the second half. But today I'm feeling good. The kids are gone. It's quiet. Um, so before my date, before I go on my date, I'm going to read for you guys. No, I'm just lying. I'm not going nowhere with this big natural. <laughs> okay. All BS side. Okay, so, for real though, for real though, Gemini, for real though, y'all always seem like y'all got some type of fatal attraction going on. Like, people are magnetically drawn to your beauty, and they they want to overtake you, like, all the time. I always see this with Geminis. Um, people love you and lust after you. And, and not all Geminis are um, powerful and smart when they need to be. So sometimes you might slip up. Or maybe in your younger years, in the younger years of, of Gemini, maybe they will get to a place where they will let somebody overtake them, control them, dominate them. Um, and I'm getting messages for two different groups of Geminis right now. I have... I'm getting messages right now about um, a younger person, a younger female, Gemini, who is dating an older male. It could be a Capricorn or a Leo male. It could be an Aquarius, too. Or you can have Aquarius in your chart, Gemini. However, this person, and it does, it don't have to be a male. It can be a dominant female. It can be, you could be a female dating a female, and the female um, Capricorn or Leo is dominant over you. Or you could be a male dating a, a male, or a male dating a female, and the older female is dominant over you. It doesn't matter, but there's some type of um, formulation here that involves a Leo, an Aquarius, and a Capricorn so for one group of you I feel like you're younger and this person has been controlling you for a while now this person watches everything you do um, this person tries to tell you who you can link up with and when who you should and should not be friends with you probably started out with this person young this person could have, um, you could have given yourself to this person for the first time, your, your V-card, your virginity. This person could have gave, given you your first child. I feel like somebody, you were picked up by this per. you were like minding your business, you were doing just fine in your youth. And this person saw how fine you were and how good you were doing. This person saw how beautiful you were, how youthful you were. This person um, admired the glow about you. This person possibly watched you work, whether you were in school working, doing your work, because I'm talking to somebody young right now. You, uh, I also feel like this person could have been a parent at your, of somebody at your school. Or it could have been a teacher or a school personnel. It, you could even have been a college student. But you were still young in your youth when this person came about and disrupted your life. And I'm sure you had some good times with this person as well as hard times. But when I say disrupted your life, it's because I see this devil energy. And then I see this, um, this Leo card, this lion. So I feel like... You are in a relationship where you're just, you're doing what you got to do. You're, you've gotten used to it. Maybe this person enjoys you more than you enjoy them. Because look at the lady. She's content in both of these pictures. And I, 
I feel like you started out young and you may have grown a little older with this person. You could have been with this person for a couple of years now. Or maybe these cards are looking into your near future. If you're just now getting in some type of a relationship with an older Aquarius, an older Capricorn, or an older Leo, you're going to grow old with this person and just kind of just be there. You trust the person and the person um, allows you to take control over situations. However, they're still the dominant force. But you're their, you're their total happiness. And, and I think you might be happy, but you might be a little bored in this relationship. Maybe because they are older than you, a little older than you. Maybe there's things that you want to do that this person have no interest in. But you're cool. You're together. The relationship looks good. But you just seem a little bored. Or mentally just distracted. Or like... I don't know. Let's pull a couple more cards. Gemini. Woo. The devil. Wow. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So as I was shuffling, the devil flew out the deck and landed on top of the devil. So you are dealing with, some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. You are dealing with somebody that has an attach, an unhealthy attachment to you, Gemini. When I say unhealthy, I say that because if at any time you do get bored in this relationship, um, and now I'm speaking to everybody, not just the young person that's dealing with somebody older than them. I'm speaking to all Geminis that are watching this that know that you are in a relationship with a Capricorn, a Leo, or an Aquarius. You can be in a relationship with anybody because our birth charts have all these signs all throughout them. Um, however, if you know you're in a relationship with somebody and they have a, a, like a dominant, overbearing, overpowering, they want to overtake you type of energy, then this is just what it is. I'm talking to all Geminis right now that's in that type of relationship. Somebody has a negative attachment to you and they are controlling they're in love with you. They do love you, but they are they are manipulating you a little bit. Or that's what they either they've been doing it or they plan to do it or they're starting to do it. I don't know what's going on with your lover or your love interest, but this person is a um is a manipulative person, but they love you. You're the star in their eyes. You're the sun in their sky. They love you. Because you are the high priestess and guess what guys we got the star again so it's like this is this is this is what it is they love you they love your youth you're their total um you are their wish fulfillment they wished all their lives to have a woman like you or a young man like you a person like you they wished for you and they got you. And so now that they got you, they're they're happy with you. And they don't want to let you go. You see the people chained together. You see the chains. But this, this energy is dominant over whatever is chained. It's like they're doing this. They're constantly manifesting new beginnings with you. If you guys go through things and you break up and get back together, it's because they're manifesting you back constantly. Gemini, you also got the High Priestess and the Hermit. And we can't forget the Sun. I feel like on the flip side of it being a um, controlling relationship or some type of a unhealthy attachment that this person has with you, you guys are the same. 
you guys are, are like mirroring one another in a way when it comes to you doing what you're supposed to do in life. He, this person is minding his or her business. They're worried about self. They're looking into self. They're working hard to improve self. Yes, it's something negative in the atmosphere. The attachment is a bit much. The word is not coming. Ooh. It's like they have to have you. If they don't have you, then everything's wrong. If they don't have you, they have the worst attitude ever. People can't deal with them. They can't be talked to. Whenever something goes wrong with you, then everything goes wrong for everybody else if it concerns this person. It's a very unhealthy attachment. It's not really negative. It's just it's unhealthy because this person has to have you, has to be attached to you, has to talk to you, has to see you, has to know everything, what you're doing, where you're going, who you're doing it with, who you're going with. If you don't answer the phone, they'll be very upset if... You don't say goodnight, they'll be very upset. They'll probably accuse you of being with somebody else. The word is not coming to me right now. Um, there's some type of a blockage, and I think it might be because this person can't find the words to tell you what they need to tell you. This person is probably very secretive with the hermit card being out. And they keep secrets with the high priestess being out but I say you guys are mirroring one another because on the sun this looks like a little a twin little twin energy going on here it reminds me of a sister and a brother except for we know that these are young lovers the sun could be a twin flame type of relationship or feeling or simply a soulmate um, but these cards came out together. The high priestess keeps secrets. The hermit is um, secretive with his cloak on. He, he He's covered up and he's minding his business. He's on a journey with to reflect within himself. So I think that it might seem a little... Um, codependent thank you spirit that's the word codependent this person does not want to let you go this person can't brush their teeth without you being there you don't know it because they're not expressing this but this person is watching you if you ever um gave told, gave this person access to your social media account and you think they don't look oh baby they are watching if you have a youtube channel Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is that you have that they know about, um, they are looking at you. They love you. And if you guys are, are on a break up, I mean, if you think you guys broke up, it's just a split up. It's a break in the relationship. You guys are going to um, talk again. They're not because they're watching you. They love you and they're starting to miss you. And they can't take this shit no more. Okay? They can't take this shit no more. And you're willing to um, to take them back. Or you're thinking about it because you miss them too. And you love them too. You feel the same way. You probably are not going to ever put up with their bullshit. But you do love this person. And you guys are very similar. You're the high priestess, the secret of the keeper of secrets, and he's the hermit. 
the secretive person. Let's just pull a couple more cards for you, Gemini. 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 Okay, so this person might have been confused once with the hangman card, but the card was actually in reverse. So this person is no longer confused. So now this is for a whole nother group of Gemini. Somebody was on a breakup. They thought they were broken up, but it was just like a break. Um, th this person is not confused about you anymore. This person wants you back and they won't stop fighting until they get you. So if you're with somebody else or doing too much, thinking you're cute, posting pictures with another person, you might want to just chill out on that <laughs> uh, because this person is ready to fight for you. Now, I don't know when, how, or why, but we got the, um, the seven of wands card. Seven represents strength, not giving up, determination, and Gemini, they have the strength to fight for you, the lover, the lover card, that's your card, Gemini, um, I'm, let me just get one, okay, okay, soulmate. This person probably felt at one time that you were not their soulmate. Um, they probably couldn't figure out why they were so attracted to you, which had them in the, hang the hangman position, but it came out this way. They're not confused anymore. They know that you are their soulmate. They are willing to fight for the relationship because you are for them. You are their divine counterpart. And again, it's like twin, it's like twin flame energy. This is a soulmate connection, Gemini. So whoever this Leo Aquarius person is, or Capricorn Aquarius, Capricorn Leo, whoever this person is, it might seem like they're controlling. They love you, and, and that's just it. They love you. So do whatever it is you feel is right. Um... But the most important thing is that you are happy. So I hope that everything works out fine for you with this person. That will be my prayer. That's my universal request. Because it's okay for a person to be controlling over what they feel is theirs. But this person better lock it down with a ring. Better put a ring on it. Better give you some type of symbolic reason for what they're doing. Archangel Raphael. The healing angel is with you, supporting your healing work. This person can be drawn to you because you are a natural healer in spirit. You probably have healed this person in ways that you didn't even know you've healed them in. And maybe that's why they look at you as the star. Visualization. So visualize what it is that you want, Gemini. Visualize it as this person is drawing you in by visualizing you. They have a, they're visualizing everything you do. They are, they have, have you like... They're, they have photographic memory when it comes to you. They can't stop picturing you or seeing you in their dreams when their eyes are closed or when their eyes are open. So it's your turn now to do some visualization manifestation. Picture what you want and call it in. And don't back down, Gemini. Stand up for what you believe is right in this connection. If you believe that this is your um this is your soulmate, then go for it. Prosperity. 
The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. Yep, that's what the cards say. Let's get one more card for you. One more for my Gemini friends. Come on, spirit. Fingers. This person could like your fingers. Maybe the healing is in your fingers. Maybe it's the way you rub this person, the way you caress them, the way you hold them, touch them. Maybe you have some type of an artistic skill that requires handwork, and that's why this person sees you as a healing superstar. Something that you have to offer makes people happy. Look at the hands. So take care of those pretty little fingers, Gemini. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye.